I've been doing these um, installations for several years now, kind of made out of all this, what I call human detritus or yeah. low end consumer goods. I mean, I'm not primarily an environmentalist, but it's, it's sort of the idea of making nature out of everything that we we consume and throw away. So it's almost like our landfills are sprouting this this artificial nature. But within that kind of premise, I've always been very interested in making certain kinds of equ visual equations with this kind of cheap, low-end stuff. And the idea is that it's kind of ever-growing. You know, it starts, it sprouts up. In the end, we're going to have this really beautiful mirrored mylar on the ground, which is very, very watery-like and reflects the trees and the color. And it just gives a very finished look to the whole piece. One of the contradictions that I work with a lot is that it's the amount of time spent on work fussing with this very low-end stuff that we throw away right. so to make this highly individualized thing but at the same time you know I hope it is beautiful too so that's right. a big part of it that is visually beautiful and engaging it sort of started off as uh, the trees themselves I mean, a few years ago when I was kind of first working with this, these ideas, what would happen is they would, they would be built and then there was sort of these giant empty spaces around them. And so then this started filling in this kind of web-like molecular structure that kind of acts as foliage and also as strange airborne molecules <laughs> that catch all the detritus. So it's kind of like a contagious cellular, I don't know, shape that keeps multiplying. In 2004, I, had, I was offered a show at the Contemporary Art Center in New Orleans, and it kind of forced me to create a whole new body of work. So for a solid year, I just started making stuff. Somebody had given me hundreds of yellow plastic bottle caps. I had strung them just in one long column. And then eventually, after looking at them for a while, I started attaching more strings of the bottle caps to the column, and it just became a tree. <laughs> Probably the real truth behind it is I love <laughs> junk. <laughs>